Hey, Room Sixers. Bit of a cold open here just to uh, announce, I, I just realized this video drops on the one year anniversary of my first ever video interview I did with Sean Flume. Check right there. If you've been hanging out since then, thank you so very much. You've really helped this channel to grow in, into what it is. And I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Uh, in the meantime, if you're new here, definitely click the bell, subscribe, and you'll know when I post new videos. And it would really help out the channel if you like and share them. Uh, other than that, hang out. This is going to be a great video. I can't believe it's been a year already. What a crazy ride. Thank you so very much, everyone. And uh, yeah, welcome to Room 6. Before we get started, I wanted to say a special thank you to today's sponsor, Sam Ash Music. If you play music in Las Vegas, you know Sam Ash. You can pick up microphones, percussion, guitars, pianos, all sorts of musical instruments. They also have lessons and special uh, performances on their stage. It, it's overall a great place to go. You should definitely check them out. And um, tell them Josh sent you from Room 6. More importantly, click the link down in the description It'll take you to their online website. It will help the channel out. I appreciate it. I know you'll appreciate it. Thank you, Sam Ash, for sponsoring today's video. And uh, thank you for watching. So let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're reviewing a very special CD from a very special person who just happens to be my 100th subscriber, my first touring artist, and my next interview. It's called Searching for Utopia by Pamela Jean, who's currently on tour. Actually, by the time this comes out, I think she might be done with her tour uh, around the U.S. She's calling this tour the Four More Legs Tour uh, due to having another dog on the uh, road. Grab your Stetson and sit a spell because we're going country. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Starting off the album, Out There is the tale of someone ready to move on to a better life. Pamela's lyrics are clear and descriptive, playing off the band's instrumentation perfectly. Falling is the next song, and it starts out very stripped down and reminiscent of some songs by one of my favorite singers, Chris Daughtry. Remember him? Pamela Jean tells a story about losing oneself. The longest song on the album, it swells and definitely has a little more rock than country um, as opposed to the rest of the album. It's very evocative and very moving. Moving on to Gemini's, we pick up the country thread again. This song has a music video, there'll be a link down in the description and that is one of two off this album of the music video. Here, Pamela introduces a little astrology into our listening experience with lyrics like, don't know what it is about you Geminis. Stay is next, a tune about diaries and the secrets they hold. Pamela Jean's singing here reminds me a little of Pat Benatar with just a little raspiness showing off her emotional content. Pamela is no stranger to Las Vegas, as this next song's title, You Left Me in Vegas, definitely indicates. It talks about being left in Vegas after being swept off your feet and whisked away to Sin City. This song picks up the pace a little, with some strong steel guitar uh, reminding us of this artist's western roots. Song number six is called Small Country Town. Guess what it's about? From her experience, Pamela Jean reminds us with this ballad that our lights can shine brighter than our current situations. The album finishes off with its shortest song, Nothing To Do With You. This is a fun one, mixing a lot of Pamela Jean's influences and experiences, uh, a little reminiscent of Kelly Clarkson and uh, other female pop stars. It's decidedly unique to Pamela though. It's short and sweet, a little ditty about how this amazing songwriter is living her best life without someone as she remembers all those reasons I flew. It's a great middle finger to the past and uh, a perfect way to end the album. With a full production sound, multiple layers of instrumentation, and Pamela Jean's 
sweet and sultry, sometimes raspy voice that introduces just the right amount of throatiness. Searching for Utopia is a great album for country and non-country fans. The themes are universal, the musicality is pure, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I think you will too. Click the link in the description to pick up your copy today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll click the link in the description to pick up a copy of Searching for Utopia. It's a great road trip CD or it's just sitting around on a rainy day. In the meantime, definitely make sure that you subscribe and click that bell so you'll know when my interview with her pops up. Uh, remember to be amazing. If you want to see more videos like this, click here and uh, we'll see you next time. Room 6.